In Miranda v. Arizona, the United States Supreme Court held that, before a suspect's confession is admissible, police officers must obtain a valid waiver of the suspect's right to remain silent. How does a suspect invoke the right to silence? By explicitly saying he or she wants to remain silent? Or is simply remaining silent sufficient? The court addressed that question and a related question concerning waiver of the right in Burgess v. Tompkins. Police officers suspected that Van Tompkins had committed a murder. Police officers arrested and interrogated Tompkins. An officer provided Tompkins with written Miranda warnings to read. The officer also read aloud some of the rights. The officer then asked Tompkins to read aloud the specific warning that he could invoke his right to silence at any time during the interrogation. Tompkins refused to sign a written acknowledgement that he understood his rights. During the next two hours and 45 minutes, Tompkins made a few limited verbal statements, but generally remained silent each time an officer asked him incriminating questions. The officers eventually asked Tompkins whether he believed in God and prayed for forgiveness for killing the victim. In response to that question, Tompkins' eyes welled up in tears, and he responded yes. He refused to say anything further, and the interrogation ended. Based on Tompkins' incriminating admission, he was charged with first-degree murder in Michigan State Court. Tompkins filed a pretrial motion to suppress his admission, contending that the officers had violated his right to silence under Miranda. Tompkins argued that he had invoked his right to silence by remaining silent for the overwhelming majority of the interrogation period before he incriminated himself. He alternatively contended that he didn't validly waive his right to silence. The trial court denied Tompkins' motion. At trial, an officer testified about Tompkins' admission. The jury convicted Tompkins of murder, and he was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Tompkins appealed to the Michigan Court of Appeals, which affirmed his conviction. The Michigan Supreme Court denied Tompkins' petition for discretionary review. Tompkins then filed a federal habeas corpus petition, which the federal district court denied. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals reversed the judgment of the district court and concluded that Tompkins hadn't validly waived his right to silence.